oxidative cleavage of alkenes is a way to synthesize aldehydes and ketones. You recall that you simply treat that alkene with ozone in a first step and then subsequently add a reducing agent. Dimethyl sulfide is common. It's like you took a pair of scissors and cut that alkene bond. So when you write the products, just write the double bond, but with an oxygen there, and just write the double bond, but with an oxygen there. And depending on what is attached to these carbon atoms, you'll make a ketone and another ketone, an aldehyde and another aldehyde, or a ketone and an aldehyde. Similar chemistry works with alkynes. And as you, just as you learn this is a synthesis of aldehydes and ketones, you will learn that this chemistry is a synthesis of carboxylic acids. So let me write R and R prime. They don't have to be the same. Treatment with ozone. Now here's a twist. In the second step, you simply add water. And once again, It's like you just took a pair of scissors and cut that alkyne apart. But because the oxidation level of carbon is different, the result is different. You still get the carbonyl oxygen. But the other thing attached to carbon now is a hydroxyl group. So it's a carboxylic acid. Now, typically, I wrote this out so it makes good sense to you. You can see. Just what's happening. But typically, we would write this structure as CO2H and R prime CO2H. And this alkyl group determines the exact structure of the carboxylic acid we make here. And this alkyl group here determines the exact structure of this carboxylic acid. Now you can understand that this will make a 50-50 mixture of these two carboxylic acids. And if we were using this in synthesis, we'd be really unhappy if we had to separate these two acids from each other. So for use in synthesis, this is typically limited to symmetrical alkynes, and then it just makes one carboxylic acid. There's another possibility, and that is we would be looking at a terminal alkyne. So now we have a hydrogen on one of these carbons rather than an alkyl group. And when we use the same 
oxidative cleavage conditions. First ozone and then water. A single carboxylic acid is made. So this is useful in synthesis. Of course, we're still cleaving this acetylenic linkage. So you might think there's a problem with what results from this carbon. But the initial product is formic acid, which is oxidized under these conditions to carbon dioxide. So we can write plus CO2. Of course, this is a gas. It goes away. So in terms of synthetic applications, no problem. So symmetrical alkynes and terminal alkynes can be used effectively in synthesis to make carboxylic acids. And I think this might be the first only way you know at this point to make carboxylic acids. So in the context of synthetic organic chemistry, oxidative cleavage of alkynes should be categorized in your repertoire of synthetic tools as ways to make carboxylic acids.